It's this small island off the east coast of India. Smaller than Tasmania probably. Yet it's got the population of Australia, you know, like more than 20 million people and picture a 45 degree day in Victoria where there's bushfires all around the state. It's like that. Hazy and smoky. And we spent so much time with the people there and you know the fact they were so welcoming and they were so friendly and they were so amusing and they all had these different stories to tell and things to show us. And, you know, I was just whipping out my camera at every moment. The first time I've been in that traffic or anything like that traffic, it was just something else. Everywhere are these little three wheel motorbike things called tuk tuks. I'm like, what the hell is that? Eventually, we got into one. Whoa, nearly lost my arm! <laughs> They're really not that bad. Chris Holland, beep beep! I'm a big fan of horns in cars. We're staying with our friend Sui. He's got this nine story apartment building where he basically houses his family and half a dozen prostitutes on the second floor from Russia. We spent a lot of time in the building, you know, it was sort of a safe haven, it's almost like a world away from the streets below. I wouldn't say you get bored with a pool up top and a gym and a crazy gardener, but you do get a little bit bored, I guess. And so we heard about the fact you can buy fireworks just you know, easily off the street. Ranji, you take us to get fireworks? Yes. yes. Is it? All these people crammed in? Yeah. Ranji, yeah, can you get AK 47? One of our major forms of communication over there, you know, would be trying to explain what we're after. Woo! <laughs> Ah, screw! Which is like skyrocket, Singalese. Skyrocket in Singalese. Thanks, boss. 400 rupees. Four bucks for that. Yeah, it was cheap, easy, fun. Hey, Gardner. Hey. Nice work. Nice garden. We make bang bang. <laughs> Too loud. God is not based. <laughs> oh shit! That came in my head! This one's pipeline. Which? Don't put this. Oh, paper. Pipeline. Paper? Pipeline. Yes. Pipeline. Oh. Yes. What a. Gas bottle! Oh, water. Is it? Here, safe? It's really odd that the security guards, you know, they're supposed to be securing the building and keeping us all safe, yet they're up on the roof with us lighting fireworks. This guy saw our fireworks, and I don't know how it started, but basically we thought, well, let him explore the fireworks. He knows, he must know some tricks or something. And you know, he's taking us over to this place which is public, but not public. Look <laughs> <laughs> oh, <hey>. at <laughs> <Through> the birds! <laughs> <laughs> Great uh, success! <laughs> Hop up! Ah, right, right, right. Okay. Big one, big one. Touching! <laughs> Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Woo! High five!
I went to Sri Lanka for the party of the year, which was uh, my good mate Sui's uh, 21st. <laughs> I just want to thank you all for making the effort to come, to, to come tonight. You have no idea how much it means to me. It means absolutely nothing but the world to me. Thank you so much. Sui has connections. I think this guy came running up in Sri Lankan Idol or something. Anyway, Sui and his uncle have arranged for us to be a part of his music video, which is a really good little souvenir to have. But not the best of fun when you're really hung over from his party the night before. So I'm about to uh, press the tuk tuk horn for myself. Let's go. It's horn. What is that? I'm like, I know it's fairly lax over there, but I've also heard that the policemen can be, you know, if they want to be, they can be strict. This Aaron place. Yes. Tourist. You know, it's fairly customary that the police pull you over and they check your license and registration, perhaps your insurance or something, and then. Thank you for your country. I gave it a go, I said hi to the policeman, he was, like, he was responding, I think because I was white. And... Nice, nice glasses. Can you show me with glasses on? For photo? With on? On face? Oh, woo! Got him to chuck his aviators on and he's blowing his whistle and... <laughs> thank you, thank you policeman. <laughs> bye bye. God bless. Now can I use horn? Yeah. This one? Can I pull? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! That's what I love the, the most about the people. They're so approachable, it's so friendly, and um, it wasn't so much that there was like sights to see and things like that. So many locals who we asked, you know, about what we should see in Sri Lanka, they were all like, oh, get out of Colombo, don't waste any time here, go and see the beaches down south or go to the hill country and stuff like that. But we spent the vast majority of our time in Colombo and it was just really amusing being a part of an entirely different culture and yeah, it was good.